What makes the difference between this and this? No matter how good your ingredients, if you want your bread to grow, you need it. Quietly and humbly, it works its way through the dough, and a small bit makes all the difference. Kids drop out of school and end up in drugs and unemployed. Rivers run polluted, carrying illness and death. People live lonely, empty lives, rushing after things that do not satiate them. And God, the loving creator, is saddened. Now, we cannot solve all the world's problems. Neither are we meant to but we can serve as leaven, small, often unseen. A presence that transforms and whose effects cannot be turned back. Yeasting. This is our calling as God's people in God's world. While you respond to that calling in your families, neighborhoods, places of work, and society at large, we do so in and out of Casa Lobe in Costa Rica. English, math, music, guitar, and volleyball for younger and older kids. Yeasting learning and future opportunity. Recognizing, cleaning, and reclaiming the river. Yeasting well-being for wildlife and for the human community. Raising our own food. Yeasting sustainable livelihood and care of creation. Opening home and hearts to refugee families. Yeasting belonging and hope across borders and cultures. Bringing the community together for shared meals, prayer, Bible study, and fellowship. Yeasting God's love and hope in tough times. Engaging young cohort volunteers in meaningful service. Yeasting vocational discernment for a life of ministry. Opening opportunities for theological formation through SETI, the community of interdisciplinary theological studies online and in face-to-face -face circles. Yeasting a movement of integral mission across Latin America. Bridging between North and South, East and West through Infimit, the International Fellowship for Mission as Transformation. Yeasting mutual offerings for growth in Christian witness. Your prayers, visits, and support. These two are yeast in the lives of children, women, and men who, as you, are loved by God and need to know it. In their name, thanks. With all this, God, the loving creator, smiles. Buenas noches. Gracias. And greetings. Greetings from your sisters and brothers at Casa Adobe. In this community, we're learning what it means to live day in and day out, from Monday to Sunday, from morning prayer and shared meals to dirty dishes, from music night to community organizing, from composting to bridging cultural differences, what it means to live as a body of followers of the Servant King. Greetings also from the community of interdisciplinary theological studies. We have one of the st two students of SETI here. And from the International Fellowship for Mission as Transformation. Stewardship, simplicity, and mission are at the heart of who we are as an intentional Christian community or what we aspire to be. We identify as casa adobe, adobes not strong like baked bricks, not perfectly shaped like cinder blocks, not as long lasting as iron structures, humble mud in need of constant upkeep, rather insignificant when alone, but capable if joined with others 
to offer refuge and home. Now, could I see a show of hands? How many of you have a microwave in your home? <laughs> if somebody could quickly survey how many that means. In Casa Adobe, 17 people share two. How many of you have a washing machine in your home? In Casa Adobe, 17 people share one. Sharing means that we are sparing the expense and the environment. Sharing a common pot means we can care for those who have less and free up funds for service. Freed from only serving ourselves through accumulation and consumption, we're then able to open our doors wide in radical hospitality to people in need of home, including refugee families, and to engage generously with our neighbors so that we may all live more fully. Seeking just conviviality, living in right relations as part of the creation community. That leads us to recycle gray waters, use solar energy, compost and garden, reduce single-use plastics, clean up the river, and inspire the broader community to do the same. Now, inspiring one another, and particularly young people, to step out of the rat race demands reading ourselves into the life-giving story of God's good creation, in which there is enough for everyone's need, but not for everyone's greed. Morning prayer, house church, and intentional mentoring contribute to vocational formation into the values of the community of love. By no means perfect, ask any of us. As Casa Adobe, we're seeking to lead and nourish full life discipleship, following Jesus into God's world and living as an alternative spirit-led community of celebrative stewardship. Check us out. Our doors are always open.